Vacuum ejectors are commonly used for pick and place transfer of work pieces in many industries. Compressed air is consumed and exhausted continuously during suction of work pieces. Ever wish to have a vacuum ejector that stops consuming compressed air during suction of work piece and automatically controls to maintain the vacuum pressure? Introducing the SMC Energy Saving Vacuum Injector Series ZK2. This vacuum injector uses a digital pressure switch with energy saving function. This function reduces air consumption by 90% or more. Wow, this translates to big cost savings. In a conventional vacuum injector, Compressed air is consumed and exhausted continuously during the suction of workpiece. As long as the workpiece is picked up and transferred, compressed air is consumed. Let's see. Turn on the vacuum injector. Pick up our workpiece. You hear the sound of compressed air exhausting continuously during suction of the workpiece. Turn on the vacuum ejector. Pick up the workpiece. At this point, the vacuum pressure reaches the set value for suction and the pressure switch turns off the supply valve and stops consuming air. Supply air consumption is zero. Vacuum is maintained. When the vacuum pressure decreases by the set value H2, the pressure switch turns on the supply valve again and automatically controls it to maintain the vacuum pressure. Let's decrease the vacuum pressure and see what happens. The vacuum pressure decreases as seen on the display of the pressure switch. To understand how the energy saving function works, look at the blue line on the graph. Here, vacuum is generated. When the vacuum pressure reaches the set pressure, P1, the pressure switch turns off the supply valve. Vacuum is maintained. When the vacuum pressure decreases from P1 by the amount of H2, the pressure switch turns on the supply valve and automatically controls it to maintain the vacuum pressure. This graph shows the accumulated air consumption of a conventional vacuum ejector and the ZK2 vacuum ejector with energy saving switch. The grey line represents a conventional vacuum ejector. The blue line represents the ZK2 vacuum ejector. Let's look at the signal here. During the suction of workpiece, the supply valve is off. Hence, there is no air consumption. A 
A conventional vacuum injector, on the other hand, keeps consuming air during suction of workpiece. This graph shows that the ZK2 vacuum injector consume much less air than a conventional vacuum injector. Having seen how the energy saving function works, let's look at the other features of this product. Low power consumption valves are used. The vacuum injector is compact and light and can be mounted with a bracket or on a DIN rail. Maintenance is easy. The filter element and sound absorbing material can be installed and removed without using any tools. Several wiring options are available. These options reduce the wiring required and makes replacement of the unit easier. Switch output 1 can be connected to a load. To set switch output 1, in the measurement mode, press the S button for 2 seconds or more to display F0. When F0 is displayed, press the up button to display F1. F1 is the mode to set switch output 1. Press the S button to enter. The first step is to check the output mode. This pressure switch can only set to hysteresis for the output mode. Press the S button to continue. The second step is to set the output. Normal output is indicated by one underscore P. Reverse output is indicated by one underscore N. For this demo, we shall set the output to normal output. Press the S button to save it. The third step is to set the pressure. When the pressure exits this set value, output switch 1 will be turned on. In this demo, we shall set the pressure to minus 55 PA. Press the up button to increase the value. Press the S button to save it. The last step is to set the hysteresis value. When the pressure falls below the set pressure by the hysteresis value or more, output switch 1 will be turned off. In this demo, we shall set the hysteresis value to 10 Pascal. Press the up button to increase the value. Press the S button to save it.
press the S button for two seconds or more to return to measurement mode. This completes the setting of output switch 1. Switch output 2 is used for valve control. To set switch output 2 in the measurement mode, press the S button for 2 seconds or more. This will display F0. Press the up button to display F2. F2 is the mode to set switch output 2. Press the S button to enter. The first step is to set the output. Normal output is indicated by 2 underscore P. Reverse output is indicated by 2 underscore N. In this demo, we shall set to normal output. Press the S button to save it. The next step is to set the value of H2. When the vacuum pressure force below the set pressure by the amount set in H2, the supply valve will turn on again and increase the vacuum pressure. In this demo, we shall set the value of H2 to 5 Pascal. Press the up button to increase the value. Press the S button to save it. In this demo, we shall set up to H2 value. This completes the setting of switch output 2. Press the S button for 2 seconds or more to return to measurement mode.